Got you a fisherman. Well, first catch of the day. <laughs> Got me a cheap shot fishing. <laughs> Coming at you live from our St. Louis headquarters, Bear Hands Baran. This is actually pre-recorded, hey, but. Can, can anybody tell that this is my coffee cup? Nope, never seen it. Never seen it? Never, don't know that guy. Is that like a milk carton situation where he's missing? <laughs> where is Bear Hands Baran? I was hoping. Oh, there's some great wildlife commands in our coffee. I, was I mean, hoping, this is amazing. Yeah, check out the description. I was hoping you could give us like a little uh, sneak peek of uh, what we're doing in the Pacific Northwest here on this episode. The Pacific Northwest is an amazing place, amazing location. I had no, I mean, I had an idea, but I had no idea. But this is going to be fun. Uh, you're going to see some silliness. Certainly. Salmon. A lot of fishing. This is catching. That's what I like to do. Learned a lot about salmon. Yes, we did. A lot about salmon. We also learned that we're going to go back in 2023 in November and we are going to trap salmon. And then we're going to milk them. And then we're going to squeeze them. And then we're going to fertilize some salmon eggs. Do you want to milk salmon with us? I don't think that's how it's now. No. It <laughs> doesn't quite go that way. Yeah, it's I it's, it's more like Michael. Oh my god. Uh, but that's what you have to that's, <laughs> that's what you do. Just hold it and do it this way. This is a family friendly show. You can't well, just you, milk an invisible salmon, Michael. You can you can always edit those hand gestures. <laughs> <laughs> really just wanted to shoot this intro to tell you to stay tuned towards the back end of this episode because we go to the Ballard Locks and Dam. The Ballard Fish Ladder? is so interesting and the front of the video is hilarious the back of it is interesting so you know stay tuned this is a good balance Education, it's a good balance yeah 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 information but, but you know how people on youtube are they like to bounce 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 stay with it you're gonna love it last in our news update here we're doing weekly live streams ahead like why haven't we been doing that got I mean, brand new uh, camera set up for them oh the camera is gorgeous i mean the picture is so nice you're gonna love it and every single live somebody's gonna be able to win a prize uh, uh, merch store, coffee, uh, all the links. Super chat, you super thanks, all those good things. Super thank you guys. Super thank you. Enjoy the episode. Aha. Uh -huh. Gracie, say goodbye. Bye. Hey, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click that little bell notification. Yeah, the bell, the bell so, thing. The bell. Do the bell <laughs> thing. Turn right onto Fun Center. Hey, where are we? Right hey, we are in Seattle, Washington, Washington, and we're going to meet up with our YouTube subscriber, Turn Cheap right Shot the Fishing. The There's the river. Somebody's already fishing on it. Full approval on the new Ford Bronco. Man, I, I really like this. I think this would make an excellent YouTube car. I mean, look how much real estate you got for wrap. It's the big have Ben's the big, Ford. Have the big wildlife command center right here. Look how big this hood is. YouTube across the front of it. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. What could you possibly be answering to right now? Well, so back home, it's nine o'clock in the morning and everybody is up and spry and working, and uh, so there's plenty to go. But right now, I am uh, returning comments to our YouTube subscribers. Oh, okay, that's nice of you. Yeah, I like, to, I like to return every comment we possibly can, even though it's impossible. If you're hearing a lot of this in the video, it's because I'm just gonna keep smelling everything around me. <sighs> it's wonderful. So our guys showed up. It's always a good sign. Yeah, step one. Step two, put on your cool waders. Wow, super cool. Right? Michael specifically said he hates the standard people walking up to a body of water getting ready to fish shot, so I'm going to make sure I go ahead and get that and put it in this video. <laughs> Right away. Good to meet you, man. All right. What's happening, man? Cheap shot to meet you. Nice to hey, meet you. Hey, Michael. This is my oh. buddy, Owen. Nice Owen? Hell yeah. This is Owen. All right, well, let's go catch some fish. Yeah, let's get on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, and this is my son, Michael David. He's in, Good the, to meet you, dude. He's in the Navy right down in Oak Harbor. Hell yeah. I'm right. yeah. One of the benefits of Washington is they have blackberries for days. Look at all these blackberries. Does that mean there's bears? There are bears. Let's go catch some bears. Oh, also, right down there. Look, there's a little grotto. There's well, like some salamanders down there. It smells amazing. Oh, look, some trash. Maybe some murder evidence. Uh, it's a bit muddy. Oh, you can break this. That's just an orb slider. 
probably going to go that way. <laughs> <laughs> Step one, get stuck in mud. Don't fall down sideways. Oh, what were we talking about? If I step in there with the backpack, <laughs> I'm going to sink two feet in. If it makes you feel better, I'll have it on camera, okay? <laughs> awesome. Here, let me come down and give you a hand. Yeah, this is genuinely... I got, I got a little bit more ass. Yeah, I'm from cool. Louisiana. I'm used to this. Turn around. The problem is I don't want to come out of the waders. Yep, pull the waders out one at a time. Well, that's some crazy mud, man. It's that tidal mud. Now, if you spin and take a... a a step backwards to your left. Now, if you do this for 20 minutes a day, you will have the best ass in America. That's how I got it. <laughs> You're almost there, man. You see, this is yeah. why duck hunters die in waders all the time. Yeah, no kidding. Right back in. Man, I'm about to just eat the wet socks and deal with the waders in a no, second. No, no, you got it. Just keep pulling that one like you were. You help me out, grab the back of my waders and tug on it. Here, I can do it. Let me just find the, the rock. Thanks for the assist, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Got you a fisherman. Well, first catch of the day. <laughs> Got me a cheap shot fishing. It's <laughs> <laughs> good content. <laughs> all was, part of my plan. That was all actually a lesson. It was that was all part of the plan. <laughs> all that asking was all very calculated. Us. Part of the routine. <laughs> Scale of one to ten, how muddy? Uh, it's about eight inches of mud right here. But there's also some rocks. Oh. <laughs> All of this is going to be underwater by noon. Do you yep. want to talk about the, the rig setup one more time? Put yeah, absolutely. So I'll give you a rundown. Oh, just first, them. let's get him an introduction. Oh, okay. you know, we're getting in there. So, we're getting to the flow of things, I'm Michael. Throw water. I'm fixing to throw bait in the water. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. So go ahead and look straight at the camera and tell them who you are, okay. where we're at, and what your uh, your YouTube channel is. My name's Sam. My uh, YouTube channel is Cheap Shot Fishing. We're here in Seattle at the Duwamish River. I'm gonna teach y'all how to salmon fish. Got a basic right. slip float rig going on. It consists of somewhere on here is a bobber stop right there. Okay. A bead, a float, half ounce weight, and a hook tied on with an egg loop. I'm using three out hooks, so, but you can go a little bit like smaller if you, if you need. Your, and as for bait, we've got cured salmon eggs and sand you shrimp. Your thing, you, you push that in. That's that fish candy right That's there. Egg should loop. do us good. You want to try and avoid cutting through as many of the berries as you can gotcha. and just cut off a little segment of that skein just like with like cod row or something how it'll be held together by a skein yeah you want to pinch it in like a dumpling so it's all tucked in the skin stick the hook through both sides of that skein and then you've got an egg loop on your hook here and you're going to take that loop and feed it through until it's long enough to take it and twist it around that egg sac twice and this is a little bit messier than how it usually comes out for me but you cinch it down tight and with that you've got an egg ball on a hook right away no my waders filled up with water and now i'm gonna <laughs> die <laughs> oh, no. yeah you almost got <laughs> drugged down by the current yeah no kidding i'm gonna fish some things this <laughs> so, yeah we're gonna need you to take a three minute time out so what kind of fishing did you grow up with michael well, we grew up catfishing everything and white perch fishing. I mean, my dad was always into largemouth bass, but I wanted to catch fish to eat. I hate fishing. I like catching. Are you one of those guys that don't like to talk when you have a rod in your hand? Nothing to talk about right now. I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to watch that bobber go underwater. <laughs> Let's go to another spot further up river because the salmon are trying to make their way up. They hang out. We just got to figure out what part of the river they're in. All the other fisher people on all the river that we can people? see, the other fishermen. Well, there was a woman over there. So the, oh. all the other fisher people. Oh, look at me. I was trying to make you look bad now. Yeah, uh, all the other fisher people, they, uh, they're they not very excited. They're, most of them left. So shrimp and egg? Shrimp and eggs, or as we call it, shregs. Shregs. Hey, this is way better than that other spot. So what area of Seattle are we in currently? Uh, <laughs> near Tequila. We're, we're kind of 
south of Georgetown a little ways. I don't know, the Duwamish flows through um, the entirety from Soto, where Spokane Street Bridge and all of that stuff is, uh, all the way down into Des Moines, Kent, where it becomes the Green River. This is the pathway, essentially, where the fish just have to go from there to there. What, what's that way? Uh, that is their spawning ground. Hey, there's some there's some big fish moving through here. Oh, oh yeah, see you them? see them? Yeah. You able to get over to them at all? Dude, you're talking to me. Atmosphere is starting to change here. Things are a little bit more tense as we've spotted the game. <laughs> yeah, there's some big fish moving in here. You think what? What? We about 15 minutes away from the big bite? Oh, look at those monsters. They're huge. Catch me dinner. Sounds like an excellent idea. I've always just wanted to bite right into a salmon. There's a lot of, a lot of in the water here. Like all kinds of stuff. Logs and old pieces of metal and all kinds of crap. Makes the fish taste good. Is that what it is? Yeah. It looks like it's old motor parts. This looks like a front end strut. Yeah, there's a bunch of trash out there. Oh, big one coming at you, Michael. Yeah, unfortunately, my lure's fouled. Oh, he's swimming over to you right now. Yeah, but my lure's fouled. Yeah, he's got something on it. They're chasing up. I see him, yeah. Michael's like, Damn, not only but <laughs> This is like, Oh, stop. Right, right when they come through. Right? It'd be a shame if this turned into a tutorial of how to get a hook out of your lip. All right, stop playing around. It's, it's time to catch something now, okay? Listen, I'm leaving them for the other guys. I've had a real, <laughs> real great day so far, but it's time to catch them. Well, it's a good sign that he's out. Is it? Yeah, because I bet he only gets off his couch like three times a day, so. Oh, okay. So if he gets off his couch, he knows something good, huh? Little bitty tiny footprints. See them? Oh yeah. Looks like there's five five fingers or four. Four? Could be a mink, baby mink. So that log Michael was standing on earlier is completely submerged now. Just to show you the changing water levels. Sounds great. All right. We'll yeah, do it. Oh yeah, well we're gonna fish tomorrow too, but we're gonna go do the tidal and then we'll come back here. Okay, man. Michael's just gonna pick berries every place we go. Yummy blackberries. It's like, if I was homeless, I would be out here eating blackberries. Restrooms? Places to go poop. Oh, all right. We are in Seattle, Washington at the Ballard Lock and Fish Ladder. And this is where man-made structure has been put in place so that we can get the fish, the salmon from the salt water to the fresh water unimpeded. So it's really a, a really interesting man-made lock and dam. There he is. See him, Cole? You see the seal? Oh, there's a seal dead center. Yeah. He's waiting for some fish. So these are the salmon ladders. They use them to climb up over it. Thank you for coming to my animal special. The way a lock and dam works is by hydraulic pressure, and the fish ladder works the same way. So all those salmon that you see right there, they've got to find that narrow opening right there. And you see how the water on the other side of the opening is higher? They've got to jump up through that, get into this side here. When we get inside, we'll show you how they got to go up one level to the next level to the next level to the next level until they get to the water on the other side is higher that goes into the lake. What is that? Is that to keep the seals out? Yeah. Yeah? One of them's learned to not really come in here that often. Yeah. So you know, just circle to the ladder and get the fish going in. Oh, I see. So we decided to come to the fish ladder so we could see the salmon. And now that I read about how difficult it is for them to go through this whole cycle, I don't know if I really want to catch one now. At the entrance out front, there are seals, and the seals are preventing them from coming into the ladder. So they're, they're actually out there with firecrackers with M80s, 
and they're throwing them in there to deter the seals and make the seals go away. I think there's a moment of me filming getting the crap scared out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine just seeing a sea lion in here? They get in here. Oh, they do get in there. Yeah, so oh, they have yeah. to chase them out. Can you imagine being a seal lion and being in here? It'd be like paradise. I did it! I'm in heaven! They're real silver-like. Those are ones that come from the fish hatchery. They're real silver. They're called chromes. And then this is a wild one here. See how dark this one is? Can you see how dark that is? Really, really dark. That's, that's a wild one. And then that's a fish hatchery one. The silver ones, or the chrome ones, are the, from the fish hatchery. Look how big it is compared to my hand. It's big. This is some big fish. Man, I could just sit here and watch these things all day. I don't know why, but it's just so fascinating watching them try to get into that entrance right there to move upstream. I think it's nuts that they just know that's where they need to go. Well, it's not that they know that that's where they need to go. It's that that's the only area of fresh water coming out. So they can sense the fresh water. They can sense the current. And so that's, what they, that's how they navigate off those currents. This has been very motivational. Now we can actually go catch a salmon. Now we know that they exist. Yeah, you know. We know they're for real. Yeah, they're not And we know that they them. are in their, their, their spawn. They're moving up, up river. Dear diary, today I didn't catch a salmon. I blame Cole. Ooh, I like blaming Cole. <laughs> you have any idea where we're going? Let's go to Chinatown. I just want to go explore Chinatown. Chinatown sounds great. We can eat dumplings and Korean hot dogs. That's what I really want to find is some good Korean hot dogs. They're like a corn dog, but not corn dog. They're like, a, I just have to show you. 